Our columns work pretty well, but if we start putting text in them, you can see that things get pretty cluttered. It can be really difficult to read when the words are so close to each other in adjacent columns. In design, we have a concept called negative space. That is to say, space that doesn't contain anything. On the Udacity website, we can see pretty easy examples of negative space. Between this text here in this paragraph and this icon, we have this empty space that makes it easy for this text to stand out. It makes it much more readable, the page feels less cluttered, and our brains don't have to work as hard to figure out what this page is trying to tell us. To make this paragraph more legible, let's go into DevTools and add some padding. I will right click, go to Inspect Element, and we can see that we're selecting this paragraph, this P tag, which corresponds to this text. And to make changes just to this piece of text, I'm gonna go to element.style. So this is only gonna affect this paragraph. I can click in here and start typing. So let's add the CSS class padding, and we'll do 10 pixels, that sounds pretty good. And I'll close this. Notice that the red box around the paragraph didn't change, but there's some extra space here, already making it much easier to read. Padding is a great strategy to create some negative space between elements. But what if instead of creating space inside the element, we wanted to create space outside the element? To do that, we'll use margins. First off, I refresh the page, then I'm going to right click here and go to inspect element. So once again, we're looking at the same paragraph, but things are back to normal. Let's make a change. Now this time we wanna push it away from other elements, so we'll use margin instead. Margin 10 pixels, why not? Press enter and close DevTools. And now notice how there's a red box around the paragraph that has some extra space on the outside between it and the column four. This is called a margin. Padding was on the inside, margins are on the outside. This is another great way to create some negative space between elements. If you're ever confused about what's creating the space around an element, you can actually look it up in DevTools. If you scroll down to the bottom of this CSS lists, we can see the box model for the entire page here. We've got a margin of eight pixels, which we can see highlighted. Then we have a border of 0.8 pixels. And then inside the border we have, well, no padding because we don't see any numbers here. And then we can see the size of the screen. Using the box model is a great way to figure out how elements are being laid out on the page. If this black box were an element on the page, we've got options for spacing it out against other elements. Margins let us push elements away from each other, while paddings create space internally. In the example we just looked at, we just used the generic margin and padding to affect all four sides of the element, but we can also add a side to get a little bit more specific, using either top, bottom, left, or right.